just, just a few words uh, in my national capacity before the important consultations that we're about to have on uh, the chemical dossier in, uh, in Syria. And maybe one or two very brief remarks about it. The first to underscore the importance of uh, these consultations. And this is the first message that I will pass on to my colleagues at the beginning of the meeting. It's not about scoring political points. Uh, it's not about playing tactical games. Today is really about uh, fighting uh, the, against uh, the risk of uh, uh, use and proliferation of weapons of mass destruction. And this is at the very core of our responsibilities as Security Council. I think it's very important to say time and again, even publicly today, to make sure that the members of the Security Council, beyond their differences that we all know about, are ready to assume what is at the core of their responsibility. That's number one. Number two, on the substance of things, as you all know, it's not an easy, uh, it's not an easy issue, but what we truly hope for today is for substantive and interactive exchanges following the presentation by Izumi Nakamitsu, establishing the circumstances and the responsibilities of the use of chemical weapons is absolutely imperative to fight impunity. It's one of our core priorities. This is the case in Duma in particular after the release of the OPCW report, perpetrators of such horrendous actions need to be identified, and they need to face the consequences of their actions. Uh, and the OPCW investigation and attribution mechanism, whose work is crucial, need therefore our full and uh, collective support. This is the commitment that I want to reiterate again in my national capacity today and that I will of course uh, reiterate in front of my colleagues. I have many other things to say but since I know you are under stress and since I'm, people are waiting for me, I wanted to be sure. Really quickly, your, your reaction on your national capacity on these new satellite images suggesting that uh, the new, you know, launch it pads might be built again. Does it go against this principle that you were just mentioning? It's, it's not up to me to say, quite frankly. We are studying the, the issue. I'm sure that my capital will, will react about it. Uh, so it's not up to me to say today. John Bolton Sorry. said yeah? that it was time to ramp up sanctions, that it might be time to ramp up sanctions on North Korea because clearly they're not denuclearizing. You know France's position about it, it's quite clear. The, the three rounds of sanctions that we've been establishing together, unanimously, at the table of the Security Council were the key leverage to allow us together to open a political dialogue and the political phase we are in. And therefore, it's not the time while no tangible progress has been made as you alluded to. Now is not the time to uh, discuss about uh, opening or lifting the sanctions. The sanctions must remain as they are, as the key leverage in the political equation we hope we are in now. That's a very clear position. Should they be strengthened if nothing happens? Depending again on the, on the action of uh, North Korea, it's up to us to collectively decide what will do about the sanctions, but at this stage, nothing goes uh, toward uh, any uh, action to alleviate, if it's the right term, to lift, to suspend uh, the sanctions. We need tangi tangible acts that, for the time being, are lacking. Thank you, mes amis. Thanks. Merci. Thank you.